Okay. So we see tax, we see PA, right? So we want to kill this tower and what, what? While you're killing this tower and you know it's for free because and you see all the enemies, what you gonna do next? I don't know. Uh, after this, yeah. What do you think you should? Probably the lane win to the second tower to force rotations. Yeah, it's usually the most aggressive thing you can think of. Uh, while yeah. not none of your teammates is doing it, so if Antimis decides to kill this, I would let him. But if he doesn't, sure, that that would be one of the most aggressive things to kill it, right? Another aggressive play I see, very aggressive, is just to stand in this area, kill all these creeps here, you know, pre uh, prevent enemy from going into their triangle. That would be very, uh, that would be aggressive move because from this position you can kill this. This wave here, you can kill this wave here, and you can farm all this and ancients, which is amazing. Suddenly, PA is farming every minute. This is farming one one less ancient, and you're mm -hmm. constantly killing waves. It's very or amazing. Or like higher as well, because I doubt in my bracket they farm ancients. Still, much. <laughs> yeah, still, yeah, still okay. Well, okay, then then maybe you're not. Uh, well, getting double the value, but you're still getting value for yourself at least minimum, so it's still good. And yeah, it doesn't matter much like what they do, but like you want to prevent them from doing. You want to yeah, prevent them I doing. Plays and like consider that they play like divine players or immortal players and make plays like that, right? Yeah, like prevent them from doing what they want to do because if they are not doing what they want to do, they are already losing some net worth. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, um. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So if I'm thinking all this, just small hint, like I can already position myself to go there as fast as possible. So top left, I would be hitting the tower, or I would even give the tower for anti mage if I want to be faster. It's up to me, you know, to decide. I know you have Dezo, so you might consider keep hitting it. But Dezo has, if you notice, Dezo has like the cooldown, right? You hit it one time, and for seven seconds, somebody can hit, keep hitting it, and it's still the. The, the passive reduction for tower is still there. So you hit it one time and you can already start doing some aggressive play. You, you can yeah. give anti-mage to the tower. Why not, you know? It's gold. It's for him, you know? You, you can start making aggressive plays here. Okay, so you TP top, but without BKB and ult. Do you think it's good? No, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, so... Be cautious about this. I would rather take over this area than probably to go top. Because like this lane is pushed. If it wasn't pushed, TPing here is fine. Because then you're defending this tower, you're getting creeps that when here you don't have BKB or ult, so you don't want to be in like aggressive places here killing them. So defending it, it would at least do something. But now nothing is being defended. Not much reason to go here. You know, but yeah. And you smoked? Was it your smoke? No, the ogre smoke. Okay, okay. You kill the wave, right. ignore this creep, just kill the wave and blink out. You you saw that two players are here, kill the wave and just blink out and farm in this area. Get out. No, don't go to, towards them. There's no reason to go towards them. Like, um, how to say this? I don't give a fuck in this replay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, like, you're not searching for enemies if you don't have BKB or ult, something like that, you know? Plus, you already killed the wave. You're even in front of your creeps. So makes Doesn't make much sense, you know? Yeah, just k kill all this here. I think I just farmed that camp in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> cool. And it just goes away, and then I go towards him. Yeah, and clear and, and, and now since I stayed here, since I stayed here, I I would just uh, used all spells to kill the wave and blink out, do the same thing basically. Yeah, you touched him. I don't like you touched him, but okay. Yeah, and blink out. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, PA showed PA Green. showed mid. It, it's fine. Like PA showed mid though, so he wasn't there. No, nobody was there. And now we're farming this. Okay. It, just all these moves are based on if you can die or not. Like if if you somehow establish that you cannot die there, sure do it. But I I think there was potential for enemies to kill you here. So yeah, be careful about this. 
Okay, you kill the midwave, that's cool. And again, instead of this camp, I'm aiming to... I buy smoke, I wanna smoke these people, I wanna make play, you know? Yeah. Right now you can even make play with Phantom... Ah, uh, you cannot still, he doesn't have item. <laughs> Minute 25. Hey, you're killing the mid, yeah, you can even buy one ward and just put it on mid area. Cause like mid is the most scary. And most important to be shaft. So yeah. whenever you kill the mid, it's very good. But you have to do it in a way so you are not forced to BKB and stuff like that. So vision would be nice. Again, even spear this, I don't care, it has to die. Don't blink into it, just like, you know, spear it yeah. from distance. Yeah, preferably. But in order to do that, you have to know to wait here and kill it do not like walk back and forward i sometimes do it too but yeah if you preemptively think think about it you you can manage to do it without needing blink for it this is scary like looking from low ground you know lo low ground when they have high ground it's sometimes scary because you don't see anybody yeah i think i die here i think they so, rotate all five heroes so, and kill me so once i kill this camp i'm not walking like this i'm not I'm just chilling and doing nothing. Uh, the thing about chilling and doing nothing with intentions of I want to group with my team is that if you're not doing nothing, anything, if you're not doing anything and this lane is pushed, this lane is pushed and this lane is pushed, it means that they are not farming as well. So it doesn't matter if you AFK for a bit in these times because enemy yeah. is not gaining anything out of it. So it's better than to feed. Um, yeah. yeah, so when all lanes are pushed into the enemy and your team doesn't want to smoke because that's your next progression to win Dota, right? Uh, you uh, try to still aim for teammates to smoke together and uh, or just AFK and wait. You can wait either in trees, you can wait for next camps to spawn, you can s babysit some other hero that might die, but I don't want to like make solo aggressive movements through their jungle. I just don't want to feed into them because they are not farming right now. They are not showing here. They are not being here. They are not being here. They are not being here. So mm -hmm. the only play they are is always in in your face if you go into them because they are in jungle. So you cannot do this place. They will always escalate into feeding. They are not farming. They are farming less than you. They farmed one, wa one wave, uh, two waves, three waves less than you. A a every time you see this position, they farmed three less waves than you. Approximately. If so they even farmed them, because they might have just died to the creeps. Yeah, know. and eventually they have to kill those creeps. If they don't kill those creeps on, on either lane, if they don't ever show, then... Like they are not farming, or, uh, and you can make play anytime you want, and uh, and they will be sp like split eventually. They are they are not efficient. You guys are more efficient than them if they are not showing in lanes. So yeah, just don't give them back the efficiency by dying because you did everything correct. So don't give them back the advantage by feeding. I BKB TP'd, but then the task was there and he killed me. Yeah. Yeah, you, you feel like forced. The task wasn't there. Yeah, you, you feel like forced to to do something even further, but you you, you shouldn't be. Uh, only with team. You only with team you should be forced. Yeah, to Yeah, but like some games like this, like they've been in the jungle the whole time. Like yeah. minutes, so, so, so you're playing great. I think you will climb with this playstyle. Now it's a matter of the end, the ending when the team is actually you're like sometimes you play like Smurf on, on this bracket. Now it's about the time to like f like complete the the Smurf gameplay by um, by having the patience with your teammates or it, something. It, it's just team game. You you just have to do it. That's why sometimes I, I don't enjoy games like these when like. Nothing is happening, even though it already can be happening. 
and it's gonna happen in your bracket until you climb higher and higher and higher. It's gonna happen. It just don't give them those four kills. Just don't, don't give them four deaths. Yeah. And it's gonna be easier. Even doing nothing, it's gonna win you that game. Then, then doing something that you know. Uh, yeah, that, that's doing something that might escalate into you dying, which. Always, it will always escalate into you dying. Like, there's no doubt about it. They're just not showing in lanes. You know they are in, in the, the jungles and stuff. It's always gonna happen like this. I got soloed by Takis. <laughs> Takis seems insane this patch, though. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you could have chosen to like instead of going towards mid, you, you could have maybe considered to go in this area oh, and wait yeah. here. But this is also fine, especially if you want to smoke stay them. with my team. Yeah, if you want to exactly like if you want to already smoke them or, or play with them, it's okay. Like I, I like this like playing with your team. Just make the play, you know. Do you have anything? Anti mage, <laughs> look at anti mage on the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's watch him just for the fun. Nice manta. Are you even trying? He still has the blink. He haven't hasn't realized he's on damage yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Now we're with team. So we, even though we like died four times, oh, we're still I like. Fuck so... up my arena here. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Yeah, uh, so, it actually so... works out better for us because he can't get out because he goes into this corner right here between the like left side rocks and the arena and he just gets stuck there because i body block him yeah out. sure like all oh, the arena the spell usage the blinks they they kind of all sucked but still like look like the way you played you're still top net worth uh this like there were like many deaths that were not that necessary because like you 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 did well, everything did great like suck because i missed everything right yeah, but like you, your uh, the the reason why this is still good, even though you fucked up everything in the fight here, it's still good. The reason why it's good is because you did lots of things great at the beginning, and now you're in the um, uh, now you're final I'm with insured. your team. First, this is first I'm time insured. you guys. Yeah, this is first time you guys are together, right? First time. Yeah. This could have happened like 15 minutes ago if if they played with you. At least now your first time you guys are together and it, it looks like nice. You got you got your item, uh, everything's great, you know. So I like this no matter if you, if you fuck up every single spell. He's like stuck. <laughs> yeah, nice. We got kills. Yeah. I go for more here, man. I'm, I'm I'm like blood hungry. Yeah, but be careful of the these two guys not going with you. You have to pay attention what they are doing. Yeah. So you TP away. It's fine. I go kill Skyrath here. Yeah, cool. Try to kill him, but anti mage gets him solo. Okay, so after he killed him, will you go to the left or somewhere else? Where where should you go? Uh, I was gonna go to the wave, but then like uh, anti mage, I saw anti mage, so then I left. Exactly. So where should you go? I should go mid. Exactly. So your your famous move to the left into right, good. That's yeah. usually all these moves. Uh, I, I play very similar to you. like when I don't realize what to do, I, I move left and then I move right. Cool, cool, cool. I think you improved pretty well from the previous game. It's all great. Only three are alive. Uh, there was some consideration of maybe ignoring this wave for some more and just walking straight up. Because um, I, I will rewind just to see if this camp is alive or not. He okay, is dead, so maybe that's why you didn't went. But let's say this camp is alive, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine if the, that camp is alive. You might consider going with CM like this pathing to catch the PA. And maybe here. 
Yeah. Yeah, and you might get the PA, and you can ignore this wave for the kill of PA in the late game. In the early stage, it's I'm more likely up for getting the wave because, like, first of all, like people have way less items; they don't have blink to be mobile. Uh, every death is very short cooldown. Uh, yeah, creeps give way more gold like ratio than than in late game stuff like that. But the later stages it goes, every kill, especially on carry, like on carry, I would choose it even in early game probably. Yeah, uh, the kill will ma- matter way more. So I, instead of choosing the path to the right side, I would choose the pa- uh, path to the top right with CM. G- look if looked up if PA is there. If not, I would just walk here, blink something like that, get the wave. It's funny how their whole team almost has the exact same net worth. Like, they're all at, like, 10k, except PA. Yeah, because, like, all the lanes were shaft, and I'm telling you, they they literal a- enemies are bots. They they are not sharing waves. Everybody is scared, and they are farming less than your team. Just because all the lanes are shaft. So all you need to do is just chill and be semi-happy, even though nothing is happening, because you guys are not playing together. At least semi happy that they are farming less. You know okay. the matchup kind of sucks. You know, like with the moon shard bribe. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the matchup kind of sucks, like P is kind of nice versus uh, anti mage, like a long time. But in super late game, anti mage might be there, like with the net higher network. With MKB, yeah. Yeah, it, it's still a tough matchup. Like, a, a, anytime PA can still beat the anti match. Okay. Oh, I was really proud of this. I was pinging it, did you see? Because <laughs> I knew he was going to be there. Map yeah. awareness. Will you even give your anti match fun? That's like great. Like, you're yeah, playing fine. Yeah, like, I would consider not casting BKB there, but what do you know? It's just you have vision here, so less likely they are behind him, but what do you know? You know, it's just support, so... Uh, by the way, uh, also, uh, you know, rush time. Yep. Cool. Get yourself TP also, and get yourself item. You, you like what would you rather see? Like uh, buyback on you or item? Item in this case. Item in this case exactly. So so already bring yourself the recipe or whatever you want to buy, and then send it to secret shop. So you get your item faster in, in the ages timer. Not after the ages, but in the ages fight timer. You want item. Also, uh, is it the most recommended? I I think you should buy some item rather than upgraded blink. Upgraded blink is when you have like nothing else to buy. You still have the bracer to to buy something instead of it. You can consider hey, bracer are OP after minute twenty five. Sure, but <laughs> sure, but like it's the the item is still a little bit more valuable than the upgraded blink. I, would I say. could just get hard here, right? But like overwhelming brink is really strong as well on Mars because it slows them those uh, damage and it slows them so you can. I'm even out. thinking of satanic just because you purge stuff. You purge the silence, silence, and the the slow. So I'm mm, thinking yeah. of satanic. Um, some other item. I don't know what your Aganim does. Maybe even Aganim. You know, anything. My Aganim is shit. Uh, I think it's still uh, yeah. So so maybe there's some item that's more valuable than than uh, upgraded link. E- even Shiva, you know, just for more armor. I'm gonna slow them. Mm. It might be nice. Yeah. Even Halbert, technically, like Halbert, you Halbert the PA after BKB, and, and she's done, right? Yeah. So even the Halbert, even though it's a bit late, it's still, I would like to see see that item here instead of upgraded Blink. Like, upgraded Blink a little bit slows them, like, who, like, PA blinks out from it, you know, like, usually the upgraded Blink doesn't have more value than some item. 
It's just that you don't want to sell your blink, so you upgrade it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, imagine in this fight having Halbert. That looks great. Look at it. This looks great with Aegis Timer, right? Yeah. Unstoppable Beast. Rather than, like... I'm gonna have this. I think I also shy away from getting more, like, click items. Where you have to, like, use them, right? Because, like, I have to press more buttons and I get confused. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only, right? Yeah, sure. I guess you have to practice that. Mm. But yeah, you can come up with some passive item, I guess. But most of the better ones Probably here are reactive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's still active though. So yeah, like, Shiva, you don't care. You like blink arena Shivas. Kind right? of, kind of. But still, you would like to press it, right? <laughs> so it's active. Yeah, uh, but like with like Halbert, you have to like actively look the, for the PA and then like mm, press and click on her. Mm, f for example, you you still uh, like wait for her to BKB and after that you use it. You cannot use it like while she's BKB, so so you ha don't have to search for it. Let's say you still yeah. like it gives you the passive evasion and once she's out of BKB, then then you cast it. So it's not that difficult with Mars, I would say, because you still want to aim for just to, using your combo, doing your stuff. And once she, once your combo is done, arena is down, and you have nothing much to like press because you already pressed your BKB, you can only press those two spells, face boots, and now you're searching you for. You know, I wish I yeah. wish that Ags. And so what Ags does is when you use bulk work, you like take in seventy percent of the incoming attacks. It's like shit against them because they're mostly melees, right? They have no like heavy like right clickers. Right, but it's against range right clickers. Like for example, Dusa. If I press my E, seventy percent of her attacks go on me instead of the team. Right, so I can get BKB, and then uh, Blade Mail and E, and she kills herself. Right. Same for like Wind Ranger. But like, what my Ags does is when I'm Burke worked every like two seconds, there's a normal attack that happens that deals a bit more damage. I feel it's so weak. I wish, like, the Ags was, like, Arena, you can't leave Arena anymore if you're, like, PKB'd. Like, a Arena pierces Pearl Immunity or something. Yeah, it's probably very weak, like, uh, not, not, not sure about it completely, but I don't think I have seen it much, so I think it's weak, just based on it. I don't play much. Also, you can consider even Shard, you know, I think Shard allows you to even shove waves, right? Like, you spear it, and then you don't have to be there. So actually that might be considerable upgrade, like upgrading, like thinking of, okay, I'm going to go Desolator, but at minute 15, I'm going to go Spear, and now I don't need the Blink yet. But, but, but it's probably bad here, because you won't Blink in the future anyways, so it's probably bad here. But yeah. Even the upgraded Spear, uh, upgraded, uh, I would probably even buy rather Shard than upgraded Blink in this case. But yeah, like the Halbert and Shiva is one of the best. Shard doesn't do as much damage as it seems. Mm. Just leaves a little trail behind, but like people don't stand on it. It's like a very small Jakira alt that deals like, I don't know, 20% of the damage. Mm. Yeah, but like Tusk will stand in it and uh, Primal Beast will stand in it in fights, I think. Like, like they are very like walking like this these guys are walking heroes even even tech no well tech is probably not he's gonna hide but it, uh, yeah it, it's not that it's game changing like, the game only cha way i get ags or like shard is if i literally have nothing else to buy anymore okay sure sure like it's probably equivalent to the blink right like really like the shard is equivalent to blink something like, like even that. in this case i chose giving anti-major moon shard over gang <laughs> Uh, I'm just pointing it out for the cost, you know. I don't think you have enough yet, you know. Three, three thousand yeah. for you don't have enough yet, and you want some item uh, with your ages time, but preferably something like that would be nice, you know. So that's why I'm telling you that it's not that like yeah. you should buy it. Like for sure, you should go for the Albert Shiva something like that. Probably. I don't, okay, let's move on. So you get the ages. Suddenly you play a little bit positionally aggressively because you guys have ages. It's cool. Uh, also, with your hero, what, what you can do here is consider taking a, a, some area, either bot or top. 
and that's where you, you, you can consider like walking towards. It's like, can they kill you from 100 to 0? Maybe? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. If they like all commit on me. In worst case, you can like blink in. But yeah, it's up to you. This is still good. I, I think what they're doing is, is fine, like standing on low ground, I guess. Okay, so fight happened, cool, cool, cool. Oh, instead of these creeps, I sometimes do it too, but position yourself aggressively because all of you are alive and they are only two, two dead. So these creeps, they don't matter. Like it's late game, what matters is any positioning aggressive from where you can search for somebody. That's what matters. Okay. All right. Only time I would kill these two creeps is if they like killed my wave that's already dying because then I would theoretically need to even then I wouldn't do it because the, the back door is like 30 seconds and its respawn time is also 30 seconds but yeah position aggressively nice PA is behind you definitely go for the PA not for the techies PA is the, the, the oh, main line note. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it makes sometimes sounds, like you can pay attention to sounds and you might uh, notice yeah. it. Because she was in blur and then she revealed. She's still there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I just noticed now. <laughs> yeah, okay. nice. Okay, she became it. Oh, she messed up. Now she cannot TP. Cool. We don't have anything. <laughs> well, you guys have, you will kill her. Nice. No, like, uh, uh, AM was do doing any damage to her, because she has yeah. to, uh, Yeah, wh wh what I'm thinking whenever, like, she became is what I'm thinking of is she has just some, L some time... Look at them, by the yeah. way. We just won a team fight. We won the yeah, wind fight. It's like, report. Yeah. Anti-mage. Yeah. <laughs> report anti-mage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for example, if you ever played anti-mage and you got into this scenario, don't do this, what he's doing. Don't do it. Yeah, push the tower, right? Yeah, y yes, but what he can do, he can cut it. He can cut it. That way, he doesn't have to yeah. TP. So same with Mars. I have hundred percent win rate on anti mage and unranked. Yeah, no, play anti mage. I think it's the hero for I you. I played seven g games. <laughs> yeah, I have the similar amount. Like I have like I had like hundred percent win rate, like twenty streak or something like that. And I usually first picked it as well. But it was on some like low rank or whatever. Uh, well, when it was unranked or something. Yeah, hit one time the tower just because of the desolator buff, but it's fine. No, no difference here. It's just if you had like teammates there, the suddenly the tower has like less armor. Cool, cool, cool. I think maybe you missed the spear timer, maybe it was cooldown, I'm not sure, who cares. PA is still dead. So when PA is still dead, I would consider walking to the left side and taking the outpost. That's my next objective. Because we are not going high ground. Because you don't have Mars yeah. Arena. So I'm thinking of this. Especially if I get vision upon them, definitely. So I kill the midwave. That's my consideration. Most aggressive thing is this this thing. If, if I can get it. If I cannot, it's fine. So, so so the further you can, the better. And my next objective is taking the outpost. And playing on top area. Why top area? Because there's this tower. There's this objective. And yeah. Every... Should I convert to safe lane though, by the way, from what, how I'm playing, or should I stick with off lane? Mm. The reason I don't play safe lane is because I feel everyone's out to get you. As off lane, they forget uh, about you, and Mars, surprisingly, is a hero that can carry very well in games. You, you like, can... he does... Yeah, I, f I think you can keep playing the off lane. The reason why this is not that great is you don't have BKB in a world. That's why I would consider yeah, exactly. not doing this. The PA is coming. PA is coming. That's sign of like 
get going out away for sure. Also, look, look this, right? Like it's, yeah, he was tilted. He was just sitting in jungle. Though. Yeah, okay. that's why I wouldn't do this. I would rather get all yeah. this and. Uh, to, to... He was trying to grief. So, so, so to make this place, I would look at oh, PA is about to respawn. I don't have the ult nor BKB, and uh, we are not grouped all all of us. So that th all those all are the signs to not do this. Okay, let's move further. You guys are 18 gold, like, K gold ahead, so it's, just, it's, it's easy. It's like easier. Cool, you kill the mid wave. I hope from distance, not to waste your BKB in case they. Not to waste your BKB in case they gonna have it. So, so be aware of this. Like, really, this is the most scary thing. Don't be forced to use BKB. Try to kill it, but from distance. Yeah. So maybe in consider shard just to stay on the high ground to spear and get away. Just just for that. Just so you don't have to go closer. Okay. Go to your anti mage, right? Cool. Uh, even play a little bit more scared. Like play like um how to say it? like pl pl play in the range of CM. Like CM should wo be walking like this. And you should be walking my CM. It's kind of hard to play scared when you're like playing this overpowered Mars, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Because half the time you're like, what can they do? Yeah, uh, f the signs would be low ground, high ground. Whenever like you're on low ground and this is high ground, it's scary. Yeah. Whenever you're low ground and this is high ground, it's scary. Those are the like signs. Now you can go to high ground and anyway this area. I know Sniper is not with you, but still, what can you do? And you back off because you guys are not 5. It's it's fine. You guys force them all here. What I doing is like, I gave Moonshard to Anti-Mage and then I like told everyone to go where Sniper is and we forced the fight down there. Yeah, that's 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 reasonable. Because uh, the rush is still not up. So that's why this yeah. is reasonable. If rush could have been up in next like 3 minutes or something, I wouldn't go to a sniper because if you guys like uh, lose this fight here, they will get rush or you know. So I, I would probably stay. But like since rush is still not up in next f you know f five four minutes free, so it's considerable to go to your sniper if he doesn't go to you. That's fine. You have to adjust based on how your team plays. You guys wanna play top? But if he doesn't want to go, you guys can go to him. That's fine. Also, sometimes smoke allows you to coordinate the the, the fights. Like they might listen more if if you're the like smoke maker. Also, you can use the smoke in uh, from courier. By the way, uh, it doesn't have to be from your hero. Just pointing that yeah. out to you in case you're gonna be six slotted, which you will if you're gonna play that. like this. So I buy Moonshard and I give it to Anti-Mage here. Then I told them to go bot. We destroy them bot and then we end game. Yeah, I'm gonna probably look on this and that's about it. So you don't see them, so I always expect them being here. So you have to play it out yeah. uh, so they don't insta-kill you. But that's about it. So for example here, right? He hexed you. What's my first instinct when he hexes you? My first instinct was he fucked up. I'm gonna BKB Arena. That's cool, but you don't want to like use uh, arena just for the techies, let's say. No, because like I saw the dagger from PA, so I knew they were like everyone was behind them. Uh, 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 yeah, but um, how to say it? Um, uh, what what uh, what I wanted to point out is if they don't burst you from hundred to zero right now, they're gonna lose this fight, even if you move slightly back. Yeah, th so that's what I was thinking as well. But my like, consideration is like that. if they hex you. I'm slightly moving back. I know I'm stronger, but I'm considering slightly moving back. I, I don't know how it works with Mars. Like if you lose the the passive if you move backwards from v v inside Hex. Yeah, I but think you do. If you, you don't lose it, I would move a little bit backwards. Even though I want to jump them, I would when I'm Hexed, I would want to move a little bit backwards. Just so they have way harder time to beat me from 100 to 0 and then I win. I win. 
uh, uh, but yeah, if you lose the bulwark, then nothing. It's it's everything you do is correct. If you lose the bulwark, and now you cast spells, and you guys went cool. Yes, this. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, nice. In this fight, what I can say, just stand like in the face of PA, so she cannot like damage you, which is what you did. So. Great. And you won. Yeah, we just go yeah, right. So, so I hope this helped you to like evaluate like how to improve uh, the the small what things in laning. Next week, until next week, like what should I focus on? Like this <sighs> week I focused on like the laning stage, the like secure last hit on the range creep and then I my own. Yeah, I think from every point there was like two things to focus next, but most I I forgot them. Maybe like it's good to like write the list. So always, I think the always, like I think one of them might be like always when I have arena BKB up or like arena up instead of focusing on farm, focus on killing people. Mhm, mm mm -hmm, something like that. But if they are not showing on lanes. Don't don't be like um, insisted aggressive. insisted upon going into yeah. their places from low ground to high ground, especially without a team and stuff like that. So do, do, it's gonna happen a lot, really. In your bracket, it's gonna happen a lot that they don't like play as team, even if every lane is shaft and everything. It's not gonna happen that often that they are grouped, but still aim for it to maybe to do it. You know. B for example, if they are not going to you, maybe you can apply the same effect you did with Sniper. It's just go to them, go to your team, if yeah. you're strong. Because if you have BKB ult up, at least some f reasonable fight is going to be there. Every lane is shoved anyways, you know. Your your carry is going to be farming and you might win that fight. If you lose that mm. fight, so what? You had the best timing anyways and every lane was shoved. So, so what, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was that would that might be one thing. Be, uh, don't be scared to AFK if every lane is like shaft. Uh, don't don't give them back the efficiency of gold and net worth they lost by the whole minute because they played bad. Don't give it back to them by dying into them. Don't yeah. don't give it like, back. I That's... should have been eighteen zero and eleven here, right? Sh sure, or like, maybe no, one, just... yeah. Or maybe one kill, something like that, to practice out like how, where's the reach with the blink or the isolator and stuff like that. Like for example, yeah, mm, yeah. So so practice that maybe. Mm, what else was there? Uh, practice uh, in, in laning. It was maybe practice the the having lane here. Yeah. Uh, hmm, to say maybe. Pra mm, Practice like looking for creeps, where the creeps is gonna be next. That way you will not lose the opportunity to get the big camp and yeah. the creeps at the same time. That might be nice. S same as like thinking where the creeps is gonna be next. Like their next play is only to pull. The creeps will be here. Uh, that might tell yeah. you. Um, what else? Well, there there was like many many points, more small things you can practice on, like re review it w back again. But the main ones, okay. So I think from landing it was all. What was there in mid game? It was get more smokes. Um, yeah, get smokes, not mm -hmm. more smokes, because I didn't get any. <laughs> yeah, uh, jungle item. Don't forget it. Teleport scrolls, the the, the basic ones. Always have these. Um, and overall, like, like the courier usage, for example, to have like immediately later of like three seconds earlier, sending it to secret shop to have your items earlier. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I'm forgetting the main ones. Uh, Push mid with spear. Yeah, don't do, yeah, don't, don't threaten yourself on mid. Mid is very scary to to be in. So yeah, do it safely rather than regret it in higher tiers. Watch map and put camera, my camera. Probably the camera. Yeah, probably yeah. the camera with the 
play to see what's happening to evaluate it somehow even lose script for it it doesn't matter yeah the, i think there's mainly there were like only the small things that's why i won this game really like uh, i'm telling you like the, the those were only the like advanced advanced stuff mm, what is it you're forgetting that was the main thing I think the main thing that could have lost... Basically, uh, I will evaluate the main thing as things that could have lost you this game. So the things that could have lost you this game was only the deaths, I would say. Yeah. And the, the mistakes... The yeah, and the mistakes from this were the overly aggressive play uh, when ne not, were not necessary because uh, they are not farming anyways. Uh, mm -hmm. Because they are not in lanes. So you know that they will just kill you if you go into them. And what other deaths you had? And then you had death with I don't have BKB and ult up. Yeah. And I want to fight here. That's about it, right? Was there some other death? I'm forgetting. I died one stop when they rotated five heroes to me and I BKB'd before Tusk punched me. And so he cancelled my TP. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's it's not the big of a deal. Yeah, I think that's about it, right? Like really, like it was kind of smooth game. That's why you like won. You had you were even the highest net worth. I got this game because it was one of the closer games. Because like most of them are stomps on Mars. Like, yeah. Still, like, one <laughs> of the close, like I said, like I climbed like two hundred yeah. them are like quite definitely decent. you're gonna climb. Like if the these ones are your the closest, you're gonna climb. Um, yeah, nice work from the previous. Uh, I'll try and prove my well camera movement and like try to be more proactive when I have my alt. Yeah. For next week. Yeah, and the the levels you almost like reached the what was it like level six or something? You had lower HP here that could have. Also, yeah. a little bit through your game, because you had every single advantage, and then then so, got damaged like without uh, much reason. That could have yeah. been scary. Mm, yeah, but other than that, I I liked like all your moves. Like you killed the wave, you went here, killed the wave. You know, you didn't die. You moved back. You gave even the damage the farm. All, all these moves, like oh, I want to go left, but uh, there's something damage. I'm gonna go right. It's all so good. Like it's very good. I killed the wave, and then I thinking of oh, I'm gonna TP somewhere and maybe do some place. All these places are very very nice. Hopefully next time we talk, I'm gonna be Crusader. Right now I'm Guardian Five. Yeah, if, if all the games gonna go like this, maybe you should wait wait even like three weeks. To gain like higher tier, so maybe we can talk about it later. Because if your like if every game looks like this, or like if every game is even better than this, I mostly lose because of like severe griefing, like intentional griefing, like people picking Juggernaut as support role and then stealing farm from my carry and stuff like that. Sure, but there's no point in like watching the those games much. Yeah, I know. So yeah, like just keep up the climb and may maybe we will see each other like later than just in a week or you can uh, go learn uh, the support role which you wanted to learn or something like that maybe we can find uh, some some uh, knowledge there but I think like yeah. there were like many points you can improve on in this game like I, I think I mentioned like a lot of them it's just that you know like th the good stuff were played kind of nicely. Uh, and the last thing, maybe you're gonna throw the game if you go blink over a uh, next item. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that's not that, like in higher I'll tier. I'll consider Trivos that... more. I even forgot about that item existing. Yeah, it's like 5k. You know, it's 4k net worth value uh, win rate, something like yeah. that. Okay. So. All right. I think that's two hours and a bit. Two hours and sixteen minutes.